morning all it is a saturday morning today and my oldest friend ever i've literally known him since i was a week old because that was the day he was born and my mum's a really good friend so he's a bit like a brother to me and he's getting married today so yeah i just wanted to maybe take you on the day and let you know what i'm doing uh luckily i'll quickly show you the weather isn't looking too bad so hopefully it's going to be a good day but the wind's not until two which means that we're not going to be eating till i don't know four or something so i need to make sure that i don't get too hungry i find that what often happens with my stoma is if i've not eaten for a long time i get really hungry and then i have a big meal um it goes crazy it spouts out loads of air it expands considerably uh, so I'll also show you later on the dress I'm wearing because hopefully that should hide any expansions too much so yeah I'm excited for the day so breakfast I've just done myself a pancake protein pancake so just a scoop of protein powder with some egg whites and then I have some strawberries ignore my tablets and some peanut butter Another handy tip for your ostomates that are going out for a quite a long day and you're a little bit worried about leaking, change your bag so that you've got a complete fresh one, like your base plate, your bag, everything. And then you're less likely to have a leak. So that's what I'm doing now. Uh, actually, for those of you that are interested, you can actually see where this very, very almost leaked this morning. I just have been too lazy to change it. Okay, so I'm just about ready to go, just to show you what I'm wearing. I've got a dress on, quite loose, so if my bag blows up, you can't really see. And this belt is kind of stretchy, so if I get a bit full, it's stretched out. So yeah, I am about to go. It was really nice. Got myself a protein bar to keep me going because it's now like two o'clock. No, nope, two o'clock. Half past three, and obviously not had lunch yet, so I'm starving. So nice wedding, and I will catch you all in a bit.
Right, what a day. I just got home. It's like one o'clock. So the wedding was about an hour drive away. Also, I got a little friend here. It's too close to the camera for you to see her. So yeah, so the wedding was about an hour away. So um, I only had like one drink over the wedding breakfast, which was like hours and hours ago. Because uh, I'd rather drive home than stay somewhere. But, um, <laughs> the cat's licking my arm. Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to quickly catch up with you. Uh, just a thing that maybe while I was there, I thought about. Uh, one of them is that I don't know if I, s I can't remember what I said before. Um, when I showed you my dress before, um, I think I just mentioned the fact that it was quite flowy at the bottom so that my bag, also my bag, um, expands when I eat. It's not too noticeable. Obviously, if you've got a bodycon dress on, it's going to be noticeable. Um, but I also, if I feel like my bag is going to blow up somewhere, I usually wear like an ostomy wrap um, that kind of goes all around my body. I don't like wearing like the high wasted knickers or panties or whatever you want to call them with fur and a wrap it's just like a tube that goes around me it's like elasticated yeah so if I feel like my bag's gonna blow up I prefer not having one of those on because it restricts it a little bit and I feel like I'm more prone to having a leak if my bag blows up with air and it's kind of restricted from expanding as it would naturally so I kind of went out today without um, my wrap on but I took it with me and I took it with me because I know that if I'm going to be out particularly dancing also talking quite loudly obviously when music's quite loud you talk quite loudly I feel like it puts a bit of a strain around my stoma and my stoma kind of aches and it kind of feels a bit like there's pressure behind it um, yeah it just aches exactly where my stoma is so while I didn't wear my wrap most of the day, especially during the breakfast, but later on when I was dancing, my stone was starting to ache. So I actually um, put my wrap on and that just helped support it a bit. So I don't know if it's just me that has that problem of the aching, with lots of dancing. I don't know. I'd be interested to know if other people have the same experience. It's literally the only time I ever really noticed my stoma actually being there as my stoma rather than issues or weird things to do with my bag. But otherwise it was a really lovely day. Really glad I wore this dress because I wasn't self-conscious about my ostomy at all. Can even feel it. Um, again when it blows up it just blows up. As long as it's not going to explode then you know whatever I just to go to the toilet. Um, I think maybe some other ostomy related things, if you're going to a wedding or out to a party or something, is I get a little bit worried about toilet roll running out. Obviously if you just go for a wee, you kind of have to just shake it off and get on with things, but if you're actually emptying your bag, it's not great. So what I probably should have done is put some toilet roll, a few bits of toilet roll in my bag just in case um, but luckily I didn't need to, the place I went to was quite well supplied with toilet roll uh, and the other thing which isn't really related to going out to weddings or functions is I just hate being an ostomy and oh my, God, my other cats are meowing now you can probably hear them it's because I've not been in all day anyway is toilets that don't flush properly. Am I the only one? Gosh, I once went, uh, I went speed dating a few months ago. This is a story. I went speed dating a few months ago and I went to the toilet before it started and there was only one toilet, it was a disabled toilet. And I emptied my bag as you do, obviously not wanting it to blow up while I was, you know, going on these speed dates and the toilet wouldn't flush at all. Like, nothing. Nada. Not even a little trail. Nothing. It was like my worst nightmare. There was one toilet 
for both men and women. So I just kind of had to like get a load of toilet roll and kind of hide it and hope for the best and hope that no one noticed that I was the last one that had been in there. Awful. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so quite luckily this venue had good toilets, good flushing toilets. Again, that was nothing to worry about. There's nothing worse than if you're like a large queue of women waiting to go into your cubicle and you flush the toilet and it does this pathetic little flush and you just end up with a toilet that just looks horrendous. Even though for you it's pretty normal. But anyway, I'm going to go sort these cats out because they probably want feeding. Um, I hope you're all doing well. I am so looking forward to sleeping in tomorrow because I'm really tired now. But mm, I will catch you in the next video. Night!